welcome. This is Chris from the All Creatures Podcast. Today I'm talking about elephant seals. My goodness, one of the funnest species we've covered so far. Elephant seals are the largest pinnipeds or family of seals on earth. They're bigger than walruses. I didn't know that. They're huge. You know, the male southern elephant seal can get to be 20 feet long and weigh up to almost 9,000 pounds. That's intense. That's huge. The female elephant seal is about half that size at 10 feet, and she only weighs a paltry 2,000 pounds, right? It's just a ton. <laughs> so, so they're huge too. Elephant seals are magnificent animals. They are just incredible. They have incredible physiology. They have an incredible history. These animals date back 30 million years to a common ancestor. It was like an otter bear-like creature that went into the ocean and decided to live there forever. That makes bears and the mustelids, which are like otters, ferrets, badgers, their closest relatives. Pretty cool. Elephant seals just are some incredible animals. They spend over 80% of their lives in water. Did you know things we're learning about elephant seals are actually helping the astronauts in NASA and around the world? Because they're studying the bone density of these animals that spend all of their lives in the water. So we're still learning so much from them. One of the most incredible facts that we learned about elephant seals is just how far deep they dive. I used to think sperm whales, maybe blue whales, not quite orcas, but I figured some of these big, big whales dove super deep into the depths of the ocean, and, and a couple of them do. Actually, only one has beaten the elephant seal's record. Scientists measured a dive that lasted for two hours. This is an elephant seal that dove for two hours without taking a breath of, of air dove up to 2,388 meters, or over 9,000 feet. That is insane for a mammal to be able to do that. And the elephant seal has such incredible physiology, they're so well adapted that they can go to these crushing depths hunting for food. Which is squid, by the way, that's their favorite. They do eat other things, but primarily squid. The range of the northern elephant seal goes from Baja, California, which is just off the west coast of Mexico, up the west coast of the United States, and sometimes can be found off Alaska hunting for food. Now the southern elephant seal is found all over Antarctica, and or sub-Antarctic waters. So you find them on the tip of South America, also Australia, New Zealand, those parts of the world where you can find the southern elephant seal. Now their history is tragic, but it does have some good news. 100 years ago, there was less than 100 northern elephant seals left in the world. They found them on an island off Baja, California. Through conservation, through humans making a difference and saying, hey, we're gonna save this species, it's come up to 110,000 today, which is great news for them. Now the southern elephant seal was also hunted, but not in such dire straits. And their numbers are estimated to be about 325,000, which again is good news for the elephant seal. Now, the oceans are in crisis, and I think many people know that. There's massive pollution and waste that's being dumped in our oceans, and we're seeing the effects around the world. So the elephant seal still deserves our, our respect and us watching them to make sure they can survive and thrive. Now, what can you do to help elephant seals? Well, one of the biggest messages we can get across to you is stop using single-use plastics. I know that's easier said than done. Many times I go to a restaurant and I, my, my drink comes and there's, there's a straw in there and I forgot to tell the, the waiter or waitress not to put a straw in. I've got to make better decisions each day. Everybody can make better decisions each day so we can reduce plastic consumption. In the last year, many countries around the world are starting to ban single-use plastics. It's catching on here in the United States, down in Australia, Asia, and in Europe. So together we can make a difference. So please say no to single-use plastics. Please use reusable water bottles. If you make those decisions each and every day, the animals in the oceans are gonna appreciate it and appreciate you. Together, we can make a difference. Also, share this knowledge. Knowledge is power. Again, I'm gonna say this each week. The more knowledge we can share, we can change people's perspectives on what's going on out there around the globe. If you wanna learn more about elephant seals, please follow our podcast. It's called All Creatures. 
We, we spend over an hour talking about these amazing creatures and Angie and I just had a blast talking about them. It was one of our most fun episodes we've recorded. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Send us a message. Let us know what we can do to help and what you think we should be doing for elephant seals. Thank you.